What's up, Boom? Don't want you cold thing. Just been sick. All good. Need to clean shirt and hide quality. Bang. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't even notice it. I think noise suppression is cu uh, cutting it out. Thank God, does. Okay, I'm just gonna play it out there. Yeah. Schmalness. Um, yeah, first thing is the kick of here. Um, you're getting very close to the ball when you're trying to jump, so usually when you try to get a beat on a pips, you just make a land or whatever, you're trying to get the middle of the ball, so. I just, yeah, I just noticed the way you're very like low I see on the ball, so that just makes it easy for him to beat you. Is my first foot too late? Of... Is that what's happening? <laughs> Maybe it is. Um, I'm just gonna move back to twenty five percent. It's mainly after the landing here. Oh. When you went up a small bit, I know you're trying to speed through this grand but you should be around like this area here to make the jump and you had to even if you land here you can still kinda of recover, but you have to get the center of the ball. Because if you don't get the center ball you go under, you're just gonna get beat. Okay, yeah. And it's not like you're passing to your teammate because well you're like directly under here and not hitting the ball on the left side. I mean, the safest way to probably take a kickoff is just flipping towards the way you're flipping to, towards the right way, but trying to cover the net as you take the 50. Okay. Yeah, I've seen a good few people do that. Okay, you going for the boost is a small bit of our overkill, rather than just going for the small boost that's here. Because they're just going out, well, out of position if they start to attack pretty quickly, because of this space yeah you're leaving to essentially if they would go pretty fast then you're leaving him in a 2v1 here so thank god your team was there and they decided to go for the big boost rather than the ball right never uh go into like a goalkeeper mode it's just gonna make you very awkward so you're gonna turn front post. So initially, if he would be want to shoot this from like let's say here, right? Let's say he's trying to take a shot or whatever. Mm -hmm. You're covering this amount of net. Yeah. You need to cover all this. Yeah, yeah. So yes, you can make a 360 no scope jump, musty flick to get the top corner here. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna oh. be hard as hell. Yep. It is gonna be easier to jump and just get whatever you need to do, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we have plenty of boost, it's not like you don't have boost. So... And you see your teammate bang the ball away to your opponents for no reason. So, that's a bad thing for your teammate. But at the same time... <clears throat> I'm just scoffing a bit. So at the same time, if you realize that happened, you can still go for a small boost pad and just... You know, keep a small bit of momentum as you go towards the back post. And now after this big touch, mm -hmm. you can decide to move forward, expecting a clear and a pass from your teammate at the same time. Or it can just stay back post to stay safe. That's more of your reference there at the stage. Because if you go here, you're just going to make yourself very awkward to go for any save, honestly. Mm -hmm. And it's easier to stay sideways, go for saves than rather than just go in. Like, you know, facing the net here, or facing this side. Yeah. <laughs> so that is your ball. You did jump kind of late. I think you're trying to read that. Yeah. So he is jumping for that. And then, like, he's already up. This is when you start jumping, but... 
if you take a beat if you know you would not be able to get the ball then you can just try to rotate very quickly towards here try to get it by a post <clears throat> and the other thing here if you would have known your teammate is just right behind your ass then just let him go for a corner because two of your players in the corners always have very bad thing because you're leaving all the space open so any 50 that goes here is just leaving a risky open edit scenario <coughs> yeah yeah my <laughs> teammate gets a good dunk here Don't go for the big boost because your open is there. Nice. I'm so glad you didn't go for the big boost there. <laughs> okay. You need to watch out with the push. I like the way you're just taking it back, taking time. Giving your teammate opportunity to go back, collect some boost. Because if you with push her, then you know, they can start a counter attack pretty quickly, which would be dangerous. So I like this way you play a bit of time here. But you just kind of pop grab them. Yeah, I just did away. So. so you're pretty low on boost. <laughs> so a few options here. I wouldn't recommend going on the wall because it's easy to read for your openings for 50 or whatever. Mm -hmm. If you cut it straight mid, you can try to pass for a teammate if he knows you're gonna be cutting, but then you'd be worrying about this guy that you also would want to call. But the safest option is just taking that 50-50 on the ground here. Yeah. Even as you're taking that 50 there. Actually, I'm gonna wait for the next 50, I'm gonna explain it. Um, if you position yourself towards the right side here as he hits the ball towards the center, he, he would position the ball so it goes towards here, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But it's more of a read 50 because the moment you just pop the ball up and just give him a freebie. Okay, okay you realize your teammate is going for that. You can technically go for this corner boost. A more safer way is just probably just to go behind your teammate here. But if you go for this corner boost, there are people that will probably just wait around here and try to wait on around the mid. But that's fine, which you did there anyway, so. Go <coughs> 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 sorry. Good. Right. Don't bang the ball. He made his back here. If you bang the ball somewhere here, one of your open clears it, and you're leaving an open net here. So it's just gonna be a very risky play. And especially that you're really out of rotation after playing the ball. So your positioning here is fine. If you wanted to, you could play one two with the side wall here for yourself. Mm -hmm. Or you can just take it up the wall because if you take it up the wall this time you are actually buying a bit of time for a teammate to get back. Or you're just gonna make a wall play just in case you wouldn't actually get a nice touch on the ball if you want to press, of course. <coughs> and the third option is that you could have also like take the ball, so well, you still control the ball, but you wouldn't slam it, so you just like stop here and just control the ball. So, same thing, just buy a bit of time for a teammate to. Get a bit more back. You should not be waiting for a boost here. That's a very dangerous area to wait for a boost. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the ball is being like all the way here. That's fine. You just took a very wide rotation, but look on all this. Like, no, no, that's are being collected. Yeah. So we have six boost. I like the way you use sparse light, but didn't help me at all. Or you can, or you can go <laughs> directly to the center, which is fine enough. The best pad is always go towards this. Yeah, it's like very good for like offense and defense at the same time. And 
let's say you use like this pad and this pad to get supersonic 12 24 36 48 more than enough to make any play you need because you going all the way here not only you're gonna have zero which are also just even way more space than you would if you would go on the small boost pads here <laughs> Even here, so uh, if your teammate doesn't get a read, this guy is pretty far away, so you don't really have to worry about him as such at the moment. Well, you have to worry about him in like three seconds, but not now. If he gets a backboard touch, you have to be ready. So if you position yourself from here, going for the small boost pads, if you don't have enough time to go that one, you can just call this straight into the back post. It is just being ready for another play rather than just going straight in front of the net the same thing as I said a while ago I'm covering this and you gotta cover all of that okay um, so what did you want to do here? get it on that? <laughs> you asking what I should have done instead or you asking what my intent was? Yeah, what's your intentions? I'm pretty sure I was trying to hit the open net. I mean, <clears throat> going for the net is fine, but this guy would most likely get it and take it to his own corner. Yeah. So, there are a good few options. In Forest, you can just take a bit more control rather than slam it away because if this guy decides to cut in, to trade in, if you realize that you're banging that, you can, you can just take the ball. So it's like a basically a passing play to your old ball. Yeah. Um, because he's also not going to be awkward after this touch. It's also towards his momentum. So his momentum is dragging him towards here. So he's no problem getting the ball. But if you would go like behind him on the left side, where a teammate is at, not only that you're making him awkward because the ball is like directly behind him and he has to turn left, if he wants to get a ball or whatever, your teammate is there for a pass or can control the ball and you know, just like a nice passive play. You okay. can also just control the ball to go forward, hoping that your teammate will, will want the aggressive play in your opponent. You can make him jump, you can just make him panic a bit, or you can go for a demo, whatever. <clears throat> and just making sure that this guy won't get in contact with you as you go with the ball. But yeah. Like doing this is the biggest mistake in the champ level because at this point you're slamming the ball for not much reason, you're just gonna give away possession. And that is exactly what happened. And so because you slammed the ball, you just gave him pos free possession. And he had so many opportunities from that one single play there. very risky to go for this challenge so even if you look on the way like if you really want to dunk him if you have no other intentions at this stage you're way too late and you may not decide to turn back because it's too late look on the way he's positioning his car okay um adding it to his left right just one sec <laughs> i'm just gonna try to <laughs> if you look on the way he's positioning his car, it's going cutting straight in, hitting the ball here. So, what you're trying to do if you're dunking, you're trying to see what play he's going for. So, realistically, if he bangs it straight forward, he doesn't want to because you're in there, you're in the way, right? He's too awkward to bang it towards the right side because he's too much on the right like right side ready so if you you would have to go all the way towards the left to get to, to the right side <laughs> so the only real option is really left to is to slam it towards the left side where the teammate is at so you know he's gonna hit the ball on the right side bottom it's gonna pop up there so just using that sense to be able to jump towards the 50 where 
you know, the ball is going to go towards you rather than just trying to be fast and trying to get the ball. Ball. Initially, that's only if you made a mistake that you go for this ball because in reality, that's not even a ball you're supposed to be going for. Um, because if you go for that, you're basically leaving your opponents with an open that here. If you mess up, because there's a high chance that this 50 will go on the side and your opponent can just collect it. You can account <laughs> counter attack on your teammate because he's not back. If your teammate would be back or midway going back here, that's fine, right? Because you can always turn, you can always rely on your teammate. But at this stage, you can't, even if he would be going back around here, he still is recovering. Yeah. Like, it's very awkward for him to make a defensive play, so you go for that. It's just very awkward because you're the last man at this stage. So, it's all about you know the space here. Your team is far back, you know, your opponent is just be behind you there. Mainly, it's about this space here. You have to realize this guy's gonna get it, and your teammate is back. Mm -hmm. You have to start shadow defending. So as you start shadow defending, you're just trying to buy, a, you don't challenge straight away. You're trying to buy as much time as possible for a teammate to get back. Because once he's able to get back, he's able to help you so much by just keep pumping them or just giving pressure on them so you can go for an easier challenge. Even if your teammate would come in straight into them and you realize that they're going to flick straight away, you're just going to make it way easier for you to actually read what kind of a shot they're going to go for because they will have less freedom and less like creativity go to go for a certain shot yeah. <laughs> <coughs> right so for shadow defense you could have just played a small boost fans on the right side or the left side but you would have to stay around here so he doesn't get the best touch here it's gonna go back to your pov you got one small boost, but here's the thing. The ball is not gonna go and play pretty fast. You have the 12 boost. It's gone already. Like, what? It, you're just gonna use the boost to stop here. Yeah. So... <laughs> you're just gonna use the boost to break all the momentum here, so... It's a, like really point of that, you know what I mean? Probably go for this boost here um, and just rotate towards this boost and this boost. You have like 36 where you go in the back post rotation and just play pretty patient because this guy can clear it this way. You already know your teammate is going to be committing for that, so you can just leave him have it and just rotate behind him <coughs> because this is there's no way this is going to turn to a shot. So he, the only way this could turn into a shot is this guy shooting me. So your job <laughs> is to make sure that your teammate follows this up as you go towards a saving build back post position here. Yeah. Because at the moment you just try to comment for a ball that your teammate is committing already. You got a nice uh, bump here. It was lucky, but... I was going for the ball, I know 100%. I was going for the ball. You do take your time, that's nice. You got the nice flick pass one. It's a bit strong. So your opponent can challenge for that and might get a 50 out of it, but... I see the idea. It's not like a big mistake. Because you could be sure this guy is always off like that. It's fine. <laughs> Because your life just in a 1v1 here. So if you get a 50 or if you just screw the net, get it backwards. Because this guy is going to be awkward to go for like a backwards if you would have to react very fast and your teammate is already ready for that. <laughs> because at the moment you're just going to go for a shot. Your opponent probably wouldn't expect you to slam it with the backboard, but the thing is. 
it's always gonna rebound back to you or your teammates who is gonna be following up. I like the way you fake it, expecting your teammate to get this. <laughs> it's very, very risky to stay on the wall. Because if your teammate screws up, bangs it on the backboard, doesn't get a read or pinches towards the ground or whatever, and they get the ball. Uh, this is initially what your opponents are looking at. Yeah. Uh, and full wideness. So that would be just very risky. Um, they're kind of slow for the ball, but you get a point. Yeah. So you should be going back behind them. And once you go back behind them, you see, okay, my team is going to slam it off the backboard. If you know you can beat this guy, right? Then you can go try to go for a shot. It's very risky because your teammate is here, right? If you miss it, you're gonna leave an open net. <laughs> or, safer option is just to stay back, let them be on pressure, and they will slam it to you. Because in champ level, so many people just try to bang the ball. So if you're able to read this guy's, you know, big touch from here, you're just gonna beat him, and you're gonna be back with a one v one. It's gonna be making it way easier for you. So you got the boost grab, but here's the thing. Let's say you got a ball, right? Who's the ball gonna go to if you grab it? Sure. Um, it's just gonna go to like no man's land, so it's not even gonna be useful going for the ball here. So just you know, shadowing, just keeping them awkward. <clears throat> you know, just you're gonna shadow here because your teammate is just very, very far away, and you want them to go back into the position. And if you're shadowing from the wall side, don't be very close to the wall because they can always just get the smack it mid. So be trying to be around this area here. Okay. And you already have 86 boost, so there's no need for you to even consider about this boost. You should not even go for this boost for sharp defense. It makes it very awkward for sharp defense. They can just land it towards him and they will score easily. That demo actually helps you so much because you just respawn back. And so you got a nice little touch your opponents do mess up. But your teammate was there even though he did get them out it cost him enough like you know problems for open to go for a shot <laughs> i like the way you could grab the small boost that's a nice little bump here and but what you could have also done here is just went for a small boost and just try to go behind your teammates so you're allowing your teammate to go for the rotation and you're there for the follow-up so if he slams it or whatever he gets a bad 50 you're just there uh, able to like have him out because at this stage you're just in a more of an awkward position because you prefer to go for the bump so if he goes for that kind of a touch it's like a perfect example here because now you'll be facing backwards and if you would be getting the ball, you're in an awkward position from here, where you would want to be ideally around here. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why you always try to just get a small boost and just back post very important in champ two, champ three, and so on. Even GC one. All right. Um, you and you are I don't care who who is which position but you're doing the same thing as your teammate right now yeah so you are basically one player at this stage if you're being very so close to each other like that and so just try never to do this like same position or the same thing as your teammate does because you're basically becoming like a one player because you're together doing the same thing so you know it also had to be one pretty much, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so what I usually do, so if you look on this as, you know, as a grid, 
uh, this is one part the middle the top right corner the middle here on the right side and you know the center the left mid and back on it right and all that so usually we just want to be behind and on the side of your teammates just to be able to go for a follow for a touch or whatever yeah because then your board always going to be covering more of the field so if you're like here you can cover all this field and your teammate can cover all this field because at the moment this is always your covering if you'd be here this would be covered and this would be covered if you know, if you know what i mean yeah and you facing back here isn't covering any field at this stage because you can't even contribute to the play anymore and you're just keeping yourself awkward just having to beat this guy to, into, uh, to the ball which could have been easily prevented by just staying back there <laughs> all right so what's the intentions of that uh it's probably to shoot it but i was just banging yeah hitting the ball to hit the ball so i'm in a mistake obviously yeah never bang the ball <laughs> If you Love like can take control, if you have control, if you have time, just unless it's like a clear as open net, then I can excuse you for that. But if you have time, take your time because you're just gonna make it way easier for you. Your teammate is gonna go back into his position, whatever, if you're taking your time because you're giving him all the time he needs. Because at this stage, you're just passing it to your offense. It's like ping pong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you're kind of making it awkward driving straight towards your teammate and going for the small boost pads. It would be easier just to go here because your opening is on the left side. So thinking if the ball is going to go on the left side where he's there, and in the worst case scenario that he's going to be taking a shot, you want to be on the back post once that would happen. Because right now you cannot really contribute to the play. So if you know your teammate can still manage to save it, if you're towards the back post, you can still follow up for another play here, rather than just keeping yourself awkward. But that is all caused because you passed it to this guy here like this, with this unnecessary bang of a touch, which made your teammate to be in a one field position. So never bang the ball. It's kind of risky to go on this here. Let's say this ball goes here, right? He misses or whatever, or it's saved or whatever. You know, you'll be both in the same corner, which is just not a good thing. Because mm -hmm. if you want to make a pass, well, you're both in the same corner. You want to the only real option is to take it back and take your time but yeah, other than that there is really much op more options there because you're both in the same corner and can't really do much so yeah just stand back there So here, just try to always think of the worst case scenario. You stay here around the midfield area, just being ready for any play. Momentum is gonna drive towards the right side. <laughs> yeah, interesting. He should, he should have banged that in, obviously, but yeah, happens. Take your time. Oh, okay, but I clear. <laughs> if your opens on are on the right side by which you want to take it towards the right side <clears throat> so if you're here the bang happens here right both of your opens are already on the right side so if you take it towards the right side you're just putting it back to danger if here once you realize the bang the ball if, instead of going 
turning left, if you turn a bit right, you don't even have to jump and just grab the ball and take it towards the corner. Grabbing yourself a full boost pad, you pin it away from the danger. Yeah. Go for a counter. <coughs> so it's just thinking about, you know, how to not give away the position to your opponents. I mean, your teammate was there, but it that looks like you being more pressured than trying to pass their teammate. Yeah, I definitely panicked. Yeah. And same, and one more thing, like, even if you want to take it towards this side, okay? For 50 or whatever. <laughs> even if, let's say, let's say you just didn't realize that, like, oh no, I could have went towards the other side to take it to where the danger is not there. Do you, do you really have to jump for this ball and make it awkward for yourself? Nope. Uh, yeah. You can just control it very easily. Now back post. Stay patient. Nice. That's a very nice play. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not gonna say got it missed because there's no I like I see your tension here. So that's what really matters. <laughs> and you are left with a nice shooting opportunity this guy is just facing an awkward away. So if you get it like backward even, you can still follow it up very nicely. Yeah. But it happens like with Zappen. Big overcommit for this corner boost because you know, all the space. That you'll be leaving, you're still leaving it. And it's now that you're back. Did you really need that corner boost? You know, your teammate, if you start a counter, your teammate might need it. True. I honestly, I don't know if I was going for corner boost initially. I think I misread it. I thought it was going up, honestly, but I agree with you. I still shouldn't have gone for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sometimes people just grab it by accident. <laughs> what did happen here, though? You kind of just, like, let him have the ball there. You're trying to fake, or? Yeah, I was trying to fake. You're trying to, <clears throat> you're trying to fake under him. Mm -hmm. But that didn't, I didn't do it well at all. <laughs> It's not the worst thing because your teammate is back and you have enough time to recover. But looking over him with only one man in front of you is probably the safer option. And you don't even have to go towards the net for a shot. This guy is far away. If you slam it anywhere towards the wall, you're gonna get past him. If you slam it towards the wall right, it bounces back to you. You slam it towards the backboard, it bounces back to you. If you slam it towards the net, it goes to the net, right? So if you slam it towards the left side here, it would just roll to the corner. That's bad because you're wasting time, they can recover. But if you would slam it towards the wall, so you can make a 1-2 pass, then you can still get a ball. And this guy would have tough time trying to read the ball, never mind trying getting the ball. Or just a simple flick with the tree walk, so... Yeah. I like the demo here. Let's see. <laughs> Here's the thing. You collected 100. Watch this. 47. Like, you just managed to get rid of 50 boost just like that. I mean, you did. You were able to get the ball here. That's fine, I guess. But you do cut your teammate off because your teammate was going for the ball, and then he realized you're going, so he realized you're off. But... <laughs> so you should have been going back because you're cutting off your teammate at this stage. And let's say your teammate does beat. He would have an opponent if he doesn't beat. Worst case scenario, she's just getting a 50. 
Yeah, but if I get if he beats me, then it's open. <laughs> so, I think you're trying just to beat him. But if you beat him, he's just gonna go towards the corner. So, yeah, they will probably recover. He's just gonna roll to the corner. So if you go behind him, this guy gets a 50, worst case scenario 50, other guy is gonna respawn back and he, he the, the main point is he is out of position, that is the main point, you would have a 2v1. You do have a 2v1 here, but because it's going back to the corner, this guy has more than enough time to come back. And now, from the 2v1, you already have two defenders. Yep. You see what I mean here? <clears throat> so, you do cut him off because it was your teammate's ball and he had all the momentum going towards that there as well. <clears throat> and even with this play. Okay, I'm trying to go for a singing shield. I wouldn't really go for it, but surely it's like for fun, right? <laughs> oh god, oh no, look on your boost. Look on all the boosts here. I just missed all of it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> You're going very far away from him, but... You did expect your teammate to probably get that, and you do flip right side, you don't go for the ball, so... Yeah. Missing all the boosts. And then you just panicked for the ball. Alright. <laughs> you can, you could have went up for the ball, like, around here. <laughs> If you're able to get the read, if not, then you're just trying to get behind this fella so he doesn't bump you because he's just gonna be in lane. Yeah. But he does end up bumping you. That's not the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is here. Yeah. That doesn't really matter. It's not like the like, bad thing that can happen to you. Like, it is bad, but it's not like game changing. It's this that I don't know what you're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I think I was trying to go for a bump. I was expecting him to go, but it was yeah, it was obviously pretty bad. But like, I'm like just leaving my teammate. Ball, and just tap it off the wall. Your teammate would be there for the follow up because this guy is like going all the way here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you demo this guy, then you know. The boy is just gonna drop, and you have a teammate has a nice open net, so that's kind of risky to go for if you miss it, but it's not a bad intention. <laughs> just the execution, I guess. And I don't know what he's doing, he's completely missed the ball. He kept him on pressure, so that's decent. The only thing here is the overcome it after the demo. Yeah. Sure, all the way through. Because the play itself isn't bad. Okay, come on. Nice, he go for it. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, oh nice, you're going for a small boost and just try to keep going back in play, alright? I was expecting to go for the small boost here, small boost here, and just, just <coughs> go back to play, being in midfield, just being useful, and you just go all the way back. So the play is happening here. If that gets saved, and it doesn't get dunked, so I think it did a great job here. Look on this. <coughs> this is literally all what you left. The more space, you would give your opponents some more creative freedom you gave, give them as well. Mm -hmm. You don't need a boost. Even okay, even if you miss, there will be moments. If you would have wave dashed, 
your teammate would have realized you're going for the boost if you really need a boost but still you don't you don't even need the boost you can't even take this whole play on without the boost yeah and your teammate only goes for the ball is because he realizes that you're going back for the boost here <laughs> <laughs> And people missing boost is gonna happen. Like I even miss small boost bad, so why did you just pop it up there? Dude. It's like another like big touch rather than like a control. Okay. So let's say you even get that right. Like let's say he's directly in front of the net they can have 50 with you would you want to go for this 50 or not <laughs> uh if he's in front of his net yeah if he's taking a 50 in front of his net here i mean honestly i but i think that's what you wanted to yeah okay thinking about this way now he's blocking his whole like you know, the whole area of where you can shoot with Scar while flipping. Yeah. Into a 50. So, what are the chances of it actually going to the net? Pretty low. It's just like something to think about. Yeah. Like, not many people actually would think about in chant that you actually don't have much chance to score, so it's just easier to fake it. Because once you fake it, you know, this guy's gonna slam because he's gonna be a pressure because he takes you a challenge with fake it. And your teammate can just follow up. Yeah, true. <laughs> but the main thing is that should be in position for follow up. And even if you can't follow up, you can still you know, get the camera ball shot, even whatever you need to do. Because right now, we come all the way back for this boost, leaving our team pretty awkward. So we just go with spin panties to go for the ball. Why did she use all that like what are the boosts? To use this boost to get up. To use like a bit more boost here, or just like you know you don't need to do all that boost. Just just like keep the boost that you need. <laughs> this is a nice backward play. If you would have a nice follow up, that's a nice backward play. Because <laughs> essentially it's gonna return back to you. Or if you do it like strong and could start going back, then it's gonna be for a teammate to follow up. So back for this very useful. You did end up with a 50 points. It's not like they're gonna score off it. Cause you have plenty of time to recover with this. Got a very wide rotation, but yeah. That's an open net that you're gonna slam into towards the net, but <coughs> Easiest option here is just jump and just flip and just try to smack it anywhere midfield area there. Um, he's there, so you don't have to worry about missing because, yeah. I'll probably just jump so it doesn't bounce like this when you don't jump and just smack the middle of the ball as it's like on the floor here. And just try to smack as much towards there as possible. Because these guys are definitely not going to come from that. <laughs> You've done all your job. Now, all what you need to do is go back and just make sure you're going to support your teammate after his next touch. Okay, so you're just... I like, didn't go that's fine. You're like halfway there. Because you still have to go behind your teammate. Like he does go in front of you, but it has to be you going behind him as he goes in front of you. Because then you'll be ready for a follow up. If you want to go for it. Yeah. And if you know you're gonna get beat or follow up, then you don't go for it and just let your open smack it because they're just gonna pass to you. So I just buy every teammate. He did buy enough time because he did as much our defense in here. <laughs> okay. 
Dick flick moments. Oh, lucky. Not one for this. Oh. That happens. I mean, the intention was correct, so. Let's take it. Okay, don't, okay, don't post. You know, I, I said it many times. I'm just gonna show it. So you remember. Bang. And don't go towards the same corner as your team at the same because it's gonna make your ball be very awkward. And it's gonna be, make it very hard to go for saves as well. Yeah. So, it's just about being patient about the back post rotation here. Because if you would be staying back post here, and you'd be like around here, how easy would it be to get this ball? Yeah, it's an open net, honestly. And the open net, like, even if you would stay here, it's not the end of the world. Like, it's not a good position, but, like, it's better to be around this area. It's about you pushing towards a corner that your team is in. That is a big mistake. You should never really do that. Unless, like, it's totally essential because your teammate doesn't have boost and needs you to collect the ball because something like this happening, you know? Yeah. But then you would know, you would definitely have enough time to actually get the ball to help him out. That's the, like, only reason you would take a ball off the corner with your teammate in it. But other than that, that is like a very low chance of this happening anyway, so just don't drop to your teammate in the corner. <laughs> and if you see your teammate going to your corner while you're going to it, just let him have it because it's gonna make it easier in a solo queue. Mm -hmm. Just again. Okay, set in here, just all the space here. Yep. All the space here still not played here. And now you're back in play. So if you'll be just going towards the boost beds here and then you pick on the rotation. It's not the end of the world because of the like open it's not playing it out well, but <laughs> most expect like the best from openings. Because that leaves you pretty awkward. That is your ball. It did cut you off. You go in front of him, that's fine. So, initially here, what you're actually trying to do here is go up on the backboard, can fake challenge that, or just instantly go for it, just to make him as much pressure as possible. Mm -hmm. I'll probably just go up here on the backboard, I'll not press for it, and I'll just stay on the backboard, because you'll be able to go for saves on the backboard while your teammate is able to press him here. Yeah. Rather than you jumping, making yourself awkward from the backboard. Because <laughs> you can still make saves on the backboard. Especially when they're passing down. The high chance of them like trying to shoot up. Okay. I'll bring the boost. I could have caught the ball just to slam it away from him. You really need this to push zero seconds instant win. Oh yeah, you're talking about how I kept it up, yeah. I should have done that. Oh, it should have been a goal, honestly. You nearly sacrificed all this hard work of scoring those three goals. Oh yeah. It's a small replay now, it's just reader. I would say just like consider just taking the pad of the small boost bits here. Mm -hmm. okay, the, the main things, the three main things. Don't like just use boost for no reason. <laughs> go for the small boost pads, especially in this like pad I'm showing you right now. I'm just going for it. Um, second thing, you know, just try to be on the back post rotation behind your teammate when you have this opportunity to go for it if you know your teammate. We'll need somebody to follow up, right? Yeah. And the third thing, biggest important thing of the whole gameplay, don't slam the ball for no reason because you're just gonna pass it to your opponents. Just take control of the ball. Okay. Yeah, dude, so that was a really good analysis, honestly. Three main things. 
Yeah, I used to coach a lot of Zone Boards. That was really good. Like, first, that was just, yep, I appreciate it, like, honestly. I mean, I appreciate you doing all the, like, reprint analysis for the, like, community for free. That's kind of nice.